Got another organic reactions flow chart for you to try. So we're up to number 16 now. There it is there. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to start top left, get into the middle, then I'll go top right, get into the middle, and then see the route through to the end and create the alanine. Okay, so the ester structure, well, if we look at the difference in the number of carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens, you'll see that we've got an extra carbon in the ester and two extra hydrogens. We've also got a bit of a clue here as to there's part of an ester group there. Obviously, if that's a carbon, we've then got an ester. So we need an extra carbon. We need two extra hydrogens. So if we take that hydrogen off and stick it with CH2 and generate CH3, we can make that. So that must be the structure of the ester in question. How do you change the ester? into this hydroxycarboxylic acid. We need to hydrolyze it, and basically we're gonna break that bond there, and we want this bit here to become a carboxylic acid, so we do acid hydrolysis. So I've just, I haven't specified which acid, just aqueous H plus ions. Now it's really important that you reference water in, in some way, so I've done it via the AQ state symbol. You could have put here aqueous sulfuric acid, aqueous hydrochloric acid, aqueous nitric acid, or you could go acid and water, you get the idea. So going the other way now into the middle, we've got to go from an acyl chloride to the hydroxycarboxylic acid. So you can see carbon-wise, there's no change. Hydrogen, well, there's one fewer hydrogen in the acyl chloride than this. There's an oxygen gone down as well, but there's a chlorine being added. So we need to lose a hydrogen, we need to lose an oxygen, but we need to pick up a chlorine. So essentially we need to remove that and replace it with a Cl. So the missing structure was that. How do you generate a carboxylic acid group essentially from an acyl chloride? You react it with water. So for the final part of the route, we just need to look at what's changed between this hydroxycarboxylic acid and this amino acid. So the carboxylic acid group hasn't changed. The change is here. So the hydroxy group, the alcohol group, has ultimately become an amino group, but it's gone via a haloalkane, a chloroalkane, if we look at the molecular formula. So basically, this molecule here needs to be this. How do you bring about this change? Well, you react it with a sodium halide and an aqueous acid. So I've just been generic there with aqueous H plus ions, or you could have gone aqueous sulfuric acid, and so on. And then finally, how do you substitute this chlorine for the amino group? How do you turn a chloroalkane, essentially, into an amine? You react it with ammonia, or an excess of ammonia, and ethanol.